you're watching Canada's Talent, and we're here with Greg Nori. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You guys just uh, performed at can, at the Indies tonight, yep. and you performed a show earlier this week. Yes. So what's it like performing together after all these years? Um, I forgot how awesome it is to be up on stage and adored by thousands. Awesome. It, it, it felt really good. Um, you know what happened the other night? We did a full-length show at the Phoenix, and uh, it was like two months of preparation, you know, of just all the hype of it. And then when it happened, it went by so fast that I, after the show, I was like, is that it? Like, I don't want, I want to go do this again. What made you guys decide to get back together after all these years? Actually, you know what? It was kind of beca because of tonight. Uh, the Indie Awards contacted us and they kind of told us that they were, they were going to induct us into the Indie Hall of Fame. And they asked if we would play two songs. And then and we thought, well, man, if we're gonna if we're gonna get together and like put the band back together just to play two songs, maybe we should put the band back together and see if anyone cares about seeing a full show. At which, when we put it up for sale, it seemed like it sold pretty fast. So I guess people did want to see it. What am I supposed to do when you know that it's all true? like Mariana's Trench, Headley, The New Cities, you discovered some 41. Yeah. What is it that you see in a band that makes you think, okay, these guys have what it takes? Um, that's the million dollar question. I can't give it away. No, I can. Uh, th there's, always, there's always a sign if you know what to look for, like say for, for Derek and some 41. Like, he wasn't writing Fat Lip and, and In Too Deep, you know, when I first met him, which became big Sum 41 songs. But he, he was writing songs that I could really tell that he, when, whenever he would hit a good melody, it would be a really good melody, even though he would, maybe it would just be a piece of a song. But as soon as I know that some kid has the ability to even have come up with that in the first place, that is a go-to person for me, because I know that there's something in them that if they're just nurtured and taught a little more, that if they're already coming up with those little catchy melodies, that if you teach them, they have they have something already in them that is gonna grow, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and sometimes I'll, I'll come across other musicians where I never see any example of that at all, right? And, and to tell you the truth, that, that's really what the difference is and what I always look for. What are some of the factors and does it depend on like the demographic that the band is uh, going towards? The factors that you look for? What I would gravitate towards? Yeah. Uh, no. That's what was happening after the Sum 41 stuff is uh, I, it started pigeonholing me a little bit. Like, that was the only kind of band that was coming after me to work with them. Yeah. And I really had to work hard, like, to start getting out of that. Um, and, and because it's not because I can I can find talent in, in, not, in much more things than just that. And actually, recently, I've really taken a, a kind of a turn away from that kind of music. I, I just kind of grew sick of that kind of pop rock stuff. And I just did an, a, a, a band called St. Alvia Cartel and another band called The Organ Thieves. And they're a far more rock, like sheepdogs kind of thing. And what's really at the end of the day is, is the kind of music I listen to more than I ever did, like, like some other bands I've produced. I won't say who, but uh, I just started realizing that I, I'm starting to work a lot more with the kind of music that I would buy in the first way. So we have two fan questions. Spencer wants to know, will Discovered be ca coming back for another season soon? No, it won't. Uh, I don't think so anyway. Uh, what happened was that, uh, uh, you know, CTV bought, C CTV bought Much Music eh, a couple years ago. And now, just as we finished uh, Discovered, like the third season of Disband kind of, um, Bell went and bought CTV, and the first thing they did was they canceled all the shows that were on Much Music. So as far as I know, until Bell figures out what they're gonna do, um, there's no no more shows. And to be honest, I would had my fill of that show anyway. I, I don't think I was gonna come back for a fourth season. I It was starting to get too repetitive. I think I, my, my guru, uh, my guru role had clearly run out. It was time for a new guru. So what's up next for you then? Uh, I'm going down to New York City to, to record an all-female lesbian band 
and they're going to be cast on the real L word. Like they've been accepted on it. So I'm actually going to be in that show uh, fil uh, recording this band. So I guess I'm going to be on Showtime recording this band. And they're going to follow this band like over the next, I guess, six weeks or something. But I'm going to be, I end up being a big part of it, which I'm kind of excited about. I don't know where that's going to take me. But this is, this is a new thing for me. New adventure. So we have one more fan question. LaRoss asked, do you have any tips for someone who would like to work as in the music business, but not as a musician? Do I have any advice? Do I have any advice? Don't do it. No one buys music anymore. The, the, the entire industry is like, it's circling the, the rim of the toilet as it's being flushed down. Uh, I'm serious about that too. It's very, very difficult to make a living in the music industry, especially on the producer side. Uh, you know, bands at least can go play live and make money from playing live, but producers, like, nobody buys, nobody pays for music anymore, and, and, and bands now have to basically pay for recording themselves, which means they don't generally have a lot of money, and that's my world, so if he's, if he's not on the artist side, it's very, very tough. So is there anything else you'd like to say to the viewers? Thank you if you've been Treble Charger fans and, and supported us over the last 10 years. Sorry, I guess 20 years. <laughs> right, 10 years while we were a band and the last nine years that we weren't a band. Absorbed, wide awake and never bored. Smiling at the hockey shows, since you feel a child, you feel the 